Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Easy Animator Pro. I'll refer to it as EAP in this video. EAP is a neat little tool with which you can take static images like these and then animate them like so. Here are a few more examples of animated images I created in EAP. You can even create cool little text animations like this. And you can do this fairly easily with a few clicks. Now towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to get a free version of EAP. So let me give you a quick walkthrough of Easy Animator Pro. So this is what the user interface looks like. I'm using version 1.8, which is the latest version at the time of recording this video. I'm not going to go through every little detail in this video, but hopefully by the time I'm done, you'll get a pretty good idea of what EAP is about. So you will see a similar screen when you first open EAP. This is the canvas or stage area. Here you'll get a preview of your animations and we'll talk a little more about it in a moment. In this left side panel is where you'll most often start off. Here you can open existing projects, create new ones, as well as save them. This is where you'll import your graphics and add text to animate. And here you'll see all the layers of the objects placed in a canvas. Currently, as you can see, there's just one layer. In this middle section is where all the animation magic happens. So you should take the time to really understand this section. Right up top, you'll see these main tabs, animations, presets, and properties. And down below are sub-tabs. Currently, I'm in the animation or in animation sub-tab. In this section below is where you'll apply in animations to objects on the canvas. And in this section up top, is where you can control various in animation settings. In the pause animation tab, you can apply various emphasis type animations. And finally, the out animation tab is similar to the in animation tab I just showed you. Anyway, in a moment, I'll show you this in action. Under the presets tab, you'll find many preset animations. Using these presets is the easiest and fastest way to create quick animations. And in the Properties tab, you can set the scene size using this drop-down menu. And finally, in the bottom right corner, you can export your animations in SWF, MOV, GIF, and MP4 formats. Okay, so now let's create an animation. Okay, so in this example, I'll use the same three SVG images I showed you earlier. So let me first just delete this one. I'll click remove and say yes. And then I'll use the import button to import the SVG images. I'll just navigate to the folder where I have it saved. And you can use the control key on your keyboard to select multiple images. And as you can see, these are the images right here. So let me just increase the size. So I'll show you the easy option first. So I'm going to go to the Presets tab, and then I'm going to choose this corner pointer inverted, the very first one, and then apply the preset. Now, as you can see, this animation is not the best for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to modify it, and you can do that very easily. So I'm going to go to the Animations tab, and then I'm going to go to the pause animation, and then as you can see there are three tabs here, or three layers rather, and those are essentially for the layers for the three SVG images, and when you click on them, it will display which one it is. So for the layer, which is the head, I'm just going to go with um, zoom in subtle, and then for the the other ones, I'm just going to go with the rotoscope effect low. And so that is what the animation looks like, which is not too bad. As you can see, that was pretty quick to get a very quick animation for three SVG images. And then of course you can use the export button below to save the animation to various formats. So now let me quickly show you another example where I break apart an SVG and then animated. 
So let me just remove all these ones from here first. And again, I'll use the import function or the button. And I'll choose this one right here, circle puzzle. And as you can see, it is one SVG image. But when I click on it, you'll notice this break apart button is active. And so if I click on it, it now splits up the SVG into the respective parts. And this SVG is made up of two parts, so it broke it down into two, two parts. And this feature is great because you can now individually animate these two images. So what I'm going to do is for the, for this circle, outside circle, I'm going to use the in animation, or I'm going to apply the in animation, and I'm going to go with the pie chart in. And you will notice that right here, if I zoom in, you'll see that I can change this from 100 to, let's say, let's just say 75%. And as you can see now, it animates only 75%. And then what I can do is I can click on the other layer, which is the inside circle. And then I'll go to the pause animation and apply the heartbeat. So there you go. That's what the animation looks like. If I want to, I can also add some text. So for example, I'll click on the add text button right here. And then I'll, if I click inside, I can just type in 75%. And I can change the color of the font to white. And if I play it again, as you can see, that's what the animation looks like. That's not too bad. As you can see very quickly, you can just animate some objects to use in your videos. I hope this gave you a good idea of the animation possibilities in EAP. Now, to be honest with you, there is a slight learning curve, but it's easy to get started. I'm in the process of creating a whole bunch of EAP tutorials, so look for them on my YouTube channel. You can try the Easy Animator Lite version for free. You can check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this EAP review useful. Feel free to ask if you've got any questions. And thanks for watching.